Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to change your uh, default setting in Desmos so that you show just the first quadrant. I'm going to show you two different ways to do that. All right, so when you sign into Desmos, this is what pops up. Go to Start Graphing. And again, just a quick reminder, make sure that you're signed into your account so that you can actually save your graphs. Okay. But this is the default setting. You'll get the next Y graph. Uh, this will be clear on this side. We'll get all four quadrants showing, okay? So there's two ways to show just the first quadrant. Take your cursor and go right to the zero, to the origin. Left click if you have a PC, and then just drag it down to here. Now notice I am leaving space on this side and space down here, because you want that to see you want the person watching your graph to be able to see just you know how far down you're going okay if you do it all the way over to the side here it just covers up too many things and you can't really tell so make sure that you leave enough space down here and it's really up to you to decide how much of that you want to do okay so that's one way to actually do that and then you can go ahead and change the intervals here change the intervals here you might want to also for example label this up here label this down here now how would you do that so I'm going to give you a couple different things in this video. Go up to where it says Graph Settings and actually just add the label for the x-axis. We're going to call this something like, I don't know, let's go Height. Okay. And notice that Height appeared down here. For your y-axis, we're going to say Height. Let's go with Weight. Okay, so we got that there. And it shows again as Weight on the y-axis. Now, another way to actually change these settings, let me move this back to where it was originally. Another way to change these settings is to actually go to, again, this little wrench up here where it says graph settings, and go to this part. Notice that it says that some number is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to another number. What that is saying is that the range for your x-axis goes from a negative 9.8, so let's go over here, yep, that's about a 9.8 on the negative, on my x-axis to a positive 10.194 and sure enough it looks like it's a little bit greater than 10. Now how would you sh make it show so that mostly the first quadrant would show? Well I would suggest changing that from, to a negative one and changing this to a, just a little bit larger, some numbers a little bit larger than the largest numbers in your problem. So let's say the largest x a value in your problem was 8. Let's just go ahead and put in 10. And notice how this shifted. I went from basically a negative 1 all the way to a positive 10. And I'm going to actually change the intervals to go as 1. All right, and again, you can see how this changes everything. Now I want to do the same thing on the y-axis. Let's just go to a negative 1. Let's go to a positive 10. And again, it really kind of depends on the largest y number that you might have in your uh, problem. And again, notice that it did this perfectly. And I'm going to change the intervals or the steps to 1. And boom, there you go. Okay, and now you've got your, now you've got your graph, mostly showing the first quadrant. Don't forget to title your graph so you know which one it is. I'm going to call this graph height versus weight. Okay, press enter, and there we go. It's saving right now. This will change to height versus weight here as soon as this is all done. Okay, I hope that was helpful for you, and uh, plays as many times as you need to.